Hello, my name is Ron Dunham. I'm uh, a Canadian from a company called SNC Lavalin, a large engineering or engineering construction company that also invests in infrastructure around the world. Uh, I've been asked today to give to talk about uh, the youth, youth unemployment, and the uh, the kind of changes that are required in the Middle Eastern region to accelerate jobs. Uh, I must say this is uh, a bit of an improvised session, so I'll give you a few random thoughts off the top of my head. Uh, the very first and foremost thought is uh, the, the need to develop an entrepreneurial culture. This is not a region where it is an easy life to be an entrepreneur. In fact, uh, everywhere in the world it's tough, but here in this region it's, it's particularly difficult. Uh, first of all, if you look at Steve Jobs, uh, the kind of uh, poster boy of, of entrepreneurialism, uh, he learned by failure. But here in the Middle East, the consequences of failure are uh, unduly heavy. Uh, the, uh, the example that is often cited is that if you bounce a check, you go to jail, uh, and so on. And this is, this is substantial discouragement for people to go out, take a risk, try and make a business, fail once or twice, and finally succeed as entrepreneur, because that is the, the, the pattern of entrepreneurial behavior. On the other hand, to create jobs, small businesses are the backbone of job creation. The, the way you create jobs most efficiently are through the implementation of small business. So these countervailing factors have to be addressed. Governments have to make it easy to start a business. Uh, right now, the regulatory burden is too high. The cronyism is too high, where you need almost personal connections to be able to, to start a business in, in some kind of efficient fashion. And as I mentioned, the, the consequences of failure are too high. Create a, a culture that glorifies entrepreneurs, and you will create jobs. And these are the, the source of this innovation, the source of these jobs will be the youth of the region that's educated, that has the appetite to work hard, that have the ideas, but are constrained by the system. Uh, from a big business point of view, because obviously I work in a big business, uh, we are. We try to do our part. Uh, these days, we we break our our projects down into many small packages. Uh, in the in our old system, we would have for a large project, we would have two or three large pa packages. We would go and find two or three other large companies to share the risk, and we would get on with business. Uh, these days, we have some things like local resource development initiatives, where we will take two or three hundred million dollars, break it into very small packages, and help people go out and win these packages. In fact, we will go and make people aware that these packages are available, that we will train people to, to bid on the packages, help them prepare their bids, and then run around to the other side of the table and evaluate the bids and award them the work. This is uh, an, a very important part of, of community involvement, community development, the encouragement of entrepreneurs, the, the creation of jobs. And it, it is part and parcel of, uh, I would say, the our, our current approach to business, which is compatible with the, the needs of the region. No, I've, I've rambled on for at least a minute and a half, and I think I'll cut off there, but uh, it, it is uh, an, an area that is of capital importance to the Middle Eastern region. There are solutions, but uh, it is really need uh, for good, good uh, um, dialogue and uh, in coordination between both government and private industry to produce all these much-needed jobs. Thank you very much.